And welcome back to another edition of Micropats with me, Jake Donnelly. If this is your first time tuning in, Micropats is where I take one play from a Patriots game and use it as a, well, microcosm of how that game went for the Patriots. In weeks two and three, it was a bad play for the Patriots because the Patriots lost. Last couple of weeks, though, going to be a couple of good plays for the Patriots. Last week against the Dolphins, it was the uh, final touchdown run by Sony Michelle. And for this week, it is going to be the tip drill interception from Jonathan Jones with about seven and a half minutes remaining in regulation. For those of you that don't remember the game situation, this is the defensive possession following the Tom Brady to Josh Gordon touchdown pass. Brady's third touchdown pass of the evening and actually his first touchdown pass to Josh Gordon, which then made it the 71st different receiver that Tom Brady hit for a touchdown pass, breaking his uh, record, uh, the tie that is, with Vinny Testaverde. So the reason that we chose this particular play is because this game was all about tip drill interceptions. The first two went against the Patriots, where the first interception of the game thrown by Tom Brady was a perfectly thrown ball to Chris Hogan, who couldn't handle the ball, Tip drill, interception. The second one was actually a pass to Rob Gronkowski, who, of all people, despite being the most sure-handed Patriots receiver, couldn't handle the pass, got the ball dislodged on a very good hit, and interception number two of the evening for Tom Brady. However, this time, the Patriots on the right side of a tip drill interception, and you'll see just how it happened. First, let's run the play in full. This is after a first down catch and run for the Colts. You're going to look towards the bottom of the screen where Jason McCourty is in coverage against Zach Pascal. McCourty hits Pascal, the ball pops up, and Jonathan Jones has the interception. Right after this play, by the way, the Patriots would run the ball to Sonny Michelle, who would put really the final nail in the coffin of what ended up being a Patriots 38-24 victory. So as we run the play now and we start to break it down, here at the bottom of the screen, is Jason McCourty going one-on-one -on -one against Zach Pascal. Sorry about the uh, quick time little uh, toolbar right there. We'll move that out of the way. But Zach Pascal off of the line as the receiver at the bottom of the formation for the Colts. Jason McCourty three yards off of the line of scrimmage, one-on-one -on -one against him. The Patriots have five linemen or linebackers at the line of scrimmage. Dante Hightower standing up at the top of the defensive formation for the Patriots. Kyle Van Noy doing the same at the bottom. We point that out because we're going to count the number of defensive backs for the Patriots. We'll just bring this back one second here. So here is Kyle Van Noy chipping the tight end at the bottom of the formation. Van Noy is going to join the rush, whereas Dante Hightower at the top, he is going to flare into the flat at the top of the screen in zone coverage. So, with four rushers in the formation for the Patriots, that means there are seven guys dropping back in coverage. So now we run the play here. This is Dietrich Wise circled in the middle of the screen. Wise is going to run a stunt, and Wise is going to go around the center trying to come up from the blind side of Luck, which is going to force the pass towards the middle of the screen. And you'll see in a second why this is important. So as we run the play now, here we go. The pass comes out. Luck throwing towards the bottom of the formation, but the running back is wide open about four yards up the field. This would be an easy pitch and catch for maybe seven, eight, even a couple more yards for the Colts. However, Col uh, Luck goes towards the bottom of the formation, and while a lot of people were worried about his shoulder strength. He made a couple of throws in last night's game that were quite impressive. This one, by the way, is another impressive interception. Sometimes it's not the quarterback's fault at all. And that's what we had in last night's game. Of the three interceptions thrown late in the game, none of them were the quarterback's fault. Not the two by Tom Brady, and certainly not this one by Andrew Luck. You'll see he puts this ball in a perfect spot for Pascal. But the ball comes towards the middle of the screen. And remember, we were talking about the amount of rushers on the play for the Patriots, just four, including Kyle Van Noy, who had to chip the tight end. Well, here, this is where it helps out that you have so many defensive backs in uh, pass coverage. Jason McCourty is at the bottom of this triangle. Jonathan Jones, he's in the middle of the triangle, the guy that ends up with the interception. And there's Patrick Chung, who has been terrific since recovering from the concussion. So we run the play again. 
ball pops up, and Jonathan Jones does his own juggle drill before finally getting the interception and bringing it upfield. Next play, of course, is the run to Sony Michelle, which ends the game pretty much. So now we see the replay here. Pascal, he's got his hands, left hand, thumb up, right hand, thumb down, because he's trying to move his hands away from his body and is going to try to tuck it in. So while the hands are in that placement, look at Jason McCourty breaking on the play. Let's bring it back just a couple of seconds. Watch McCourty his entire time as he is coming back on Pascal. His eyes, where are they? Not at Pascal. They are looking into the backfield to Andrew Luck. Jason McCourty has been the Patriots' best defensive back over the last three weeks. That includes the loss to the Jacksonville Jaguars and, um, by the way, to the Detroit Lions, where Jason McCourty really started to fill in in that game against the Lions. McCourty, a veteran cornerback who was one of the best rated cornerbacks, according to Pro Football Focus, last season when McCourty was with the Browns. But McCourty, he hasn't missed a step. He has been great. His understanding of what the wide receivers want to do on their routes has really helped him out. And here, he is just doing a perfect job looking in the backfield while also maintaining good space against the wide receivers so that if a guy like Pascal wants to stop on a little hitch route, McCourty is going to be right there making sure no big play is coming and allowing a 10-11 yard out in a game where the Patriots are up by two touchdowns with only a half a quarter remaining in the game. So now we run it again. We'll see Pascal's hands in the circle. McCourty will break on the ball. And you see, this is the issue for Pascal. He was trying to keep the ball above his waist. If you remember from the game last night, Troy Aikman was talking about hand placement, how you want your thumbs underneath the ball on a high pass and above the ball on a low pass. Well, Pascal kind of put it in between because the pass itself is not nearly as low as it was coming in. So here he goes down to the knee to try to get better stability. So he drops down to the knee, but the thumbs will flip up. And so now you see he doesn't have his hands underneath the football in this scenario. His thumbs are on top of the football. So in order to bring it back into his body, he's going to literally have to bring the ball up. But when you've got a good cornerback like Jason McCourty right on top of you, that's going to cause problems. What are the problems? Well, the ball is going to flip up right over to Jonathan Jones, who clearly shows off his hands and why he is not an offensive player. One tip, off the face pass, two tip, three, finally juggling it in. And we'll get another look here at the throw. So good throw, strong throw by Luck, puts in the only spot where Pascal can get the reception. But because Jason McCourty is so locked onto him in coverage, it's not going to matter because Pascal, as we see, there are his hands again. Left hand underneath the football with the thumb up. Right hand trying to corral it, trying to do that pincer type of catch to the outside. Good stability with the knee on the ground. But now, as you see, instead of catching it outwards and bringing it straight in, Pascal doesn't catch it cleanly. So the ball comes down words, and now he's going to have to bring it back up. His thumbs, you can see them right there, left hand, left thumb, above the football. So he's in a bad spot to try to bring this ball back into his body, and Jason McCourty is going to make hard enough contact to force this ball loose, which you will see, obviously, right now, and it just goes straight through the wickets of Pascal because of the contact forced from McCourty and goes right over to Jonathan Jones, who finally comes down with the reception. So as we watch this one more time, go back to the not, not full play. Again, play Kyle Van Noy is going to check, uh, check Ebron right there. Chip him, I should say. Pass comes to the bottom. Quick hit by McCourty. Jonathan Jones, the beneficiary of the tip drill interception. And the Patriots able to put the game away on the next play. We're going to just go through this one more time. The one-on-one -on -one matchup at the bottom of the zone. McCourty, his eyes already in the backfield. The chip from Van Noy. The stunt from Dietrich Wise Jr. The pass is going to come. Wide receiver, make that the running back, excuse me, open downfield. A good pass from Luck, but any ball that's tipped into the air when the Patriots have seven guys in pass coverage is going to end up poorly for the offense. And of course, that's exactly what happens here for the Colts. McCourty, eyes in the backfield. Pascal, good little hitch route. Gets a little bit of separation, 
but McCourty's right there as the hands don't do what they're supposed to. Thumbs on top of the football. Ball comes back up. Jonathan Jones is right there for the tip draw. And if Jones didn't get it, Chung was going to. Strong pass, outside, well-placed by Luck, away from the defensive back, Jason McCourty, but Pascal doesn't catch it cleanly. So the ball goes down, thumbs up, right to Jonathan Jones. All right, folks, well, we've done actually two uh, micropats this week because the game on Sunday, obviously, meant micropats on Monday. Game on Thursday means micropats on Friday. But now we're going to take a break for about 10 days, and we'll be back after the Patriots' next game, a big one uh, against the Kansas City Chiefs. Patriots at 3-2, and two, looking to see what the Dolphins do right now because if the Dolphins lose this weekend, hey, Patriots are going to be tied in first place with the Dolphins and, of course, already owning the tiebreaker by shellacking the Dolphins in last week's game. Well, thank you for tuning in. This has been Micropats 2018 Week 5, the Patriots' Thursday night win against the Indianapolis Colts, a 38-24 victory for the Patriots, the Jonathan Jones tip drill interception, Jason McCourty, one of the best, probably the best defensive back, at least playing at the moment, for the New England Patriots. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in.